<laughs> to hockey. And the Montreal Canadiens got a much needed win at home yeah. over the Panthers last night. Without a doubt. However, at one point, it wasn't looking good for the Habs. Florida took a lead in the second period on your boy Keith Yandel. My boy goal. Keith Yandel, yeah. But Montreal, who had scored three goals in a game once this season, scored three goals in less than two minutes <laughs> in that game yeah. to come back and look like Labita. Here's Gallagher with a break. Stopped by Ryder. Rebound. Oxenia scores. Drouin hands it off. Weber scores. And now Gallagher with a chance. Gallagher shot scores. Canadians have the momentum now. It's 3 1. The Habs added two more in the third, including a much needed goal for Captain Max Petch. Ready to make mm -hmm. the final 5 1. So the team made the headlines last night. Today, though, Timmy, mm -hmm. the GM making some headlines. Yes. Mark Bergevin, who flat out avoided the media over the past several days despite numerous requests. Finally felt like speaking today. Oh, after the win? Hmm. Anyway, Bergevin, as expected, was peppered about the roster and whether or not it's, like, any good. Mm -hmm. According to Bergevin, it, like, kind of is. Just to make a move, just to make a move, that's not going to make any difference. I mean, uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make a move just to panic, say, listen, let's do this. I'm just not going to do that. I mean, like I said, and I told these guys, the answer is in that room. You know, it's in that room. The answer sometimes is blowing in the wind. The answer also, Tim, sometimes it's in that room. Is it in that room? Do you think it's in that room? Listen, uh, yesterday was very big. At home, after a road trip, with the vultures swirling, including us and our headlines yesterday that were calling for another loss and for everything to cave in on the Montreal Canadiens, uh, that is all changed. Would you like to change your headline at all? Yeah, my, my headline... Uh, I mean, yesterday we were saying this is eight straight loss. Yeah. And with all due fairness to the team, they won. So maybe we should change the headline. Well, can I go first? Sure, why not? Mine was very... You can throw it up any time. Mine was very negative, obviously. I didn't think... I, I, I've changed it to plan the parade route. Right, yeah. Stanley Cup run is back on after beating Florida. And the article just below hasn't really changed. Alouettes still don't know what they're doing. Well, see, so you're a coward. And that, uh, you just flipped the script in one thing. I stuck to my guns. I mean, I just... I wouldn't... No, season save. Oh, that's huge, McCallum. Habs offense <laughs> back on track. <laughs> By the way, you sports football rankings all wrong. <laughs> When's the Vanier Cup that you're calling? What is it? Uh, that is November 25th or 6th. It's, one, it's November If you go to 26th. Hamilton, one of those two days, you're going to find the Vanier Cup. It's a Saturday. It's the 25th. There that's it is. It. Vanier Cup, live on Vanier Sports Vanier Cup. I don't look that far ahead. I have to do a show <laughs> I every day. I that I just you know what I'm saying? That question. Um, when is the summer solstice? <laughs> yes. Loser. In the summer. He doesn't. In correct. the summer. Correct. Um, yesterday, the vultures were swirling. That win amidst all of the pressure. Mario Tremblay dropping bombs on local radio. Yeah, that's... Patches, Galchenyuk gets a goal. Uh, Patches gets a goal. Uh, Gallagher gets a goal. Weber. Like, all the guys they needed to get going got going. The feel good is there. I understand it. It might spur on something. However, I don't know that you look at this team as it's currently constituted and don't still see glaring holes, especially up the middle. They didn't rectify the lack of scoring that has plagued this team for, what, five years now? Yeah, about that. My biggest beef with the Habs throughout this all was they don't seem to be in position to maximize the prime years of what most of us believe to be the greatest goalie on planet Earth right now in Carey Price. And if I didn't think a year ago that the guys in that room had enough to do it and then bore out that way, and the start of this season, I didn't think they had the guys in that room, despite a couple of shifts here and there, then I'm not going to change it after one game. And Mark Bergevin has gone a hell of a long way just to change the narrative. I'm not buying it. Are you? Uh, no, I'm not buying it either. But it, before I answer that, you mentioned price and the prime years. Yes. Guys, run the Barkoff price if you have it. That save early that Price made on Barkoff. This is like the yeah. game had just started here. Yeah. You tell me what the mood is if this goes in. Like Barkoff's clean. I don't know what the Habs are doing here. Mm -hmm. Petrie's been awful. 
Like, but for him to make that save, and I, and, and I get it, they, they gave up the first goal eventually in period two, but don't tell me the mood in that building last night, if that goes in in the first minute, isn't oh, just deflating. toxic. Yeah. It's absolutely toxic. So Price, despite his numbers, I thought that was one of the more important moments of their season going forward if they happen to turn it around, to answer your question. I don't know if they're going to turn it around. Don't tell me a game where a defenseman scores two goals is where you bust out offensively. I don't buy it. I don't think it's real. I, 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 I didn't one see game, enough though. last night. And it's, it's one, one game, game on yeah. top of it. It's one game. Now, here's what I like. Philippe Dano playing with Max Pacioretty. Pacioretty, yeah. for most of last season, played with Deneau. Yeah. Listen, it's not the typical pairing you would think of. No. But if it works, who gives a damn? Right. If you're Mark Bergevin, who gives a damn? If you're Claude right. Julien, who gives a damn? Right. Chemistry means a lot. And if Patches scores 30 with the guy, who cares? Because no one else was scoring 20 exactly. before that game popped in. And I got to tell you, Mark Bergevin today is saying the answer's in that room. That is not true. The answer is looking at Mark Bergevin in the mirror at some point. No one's going to fix. No one's going to bring in new people besides the guy looking at him in the mirror. And to just say the answers in that room is a fallacy. That is not true. This is the most under pressure man in hockey right now. And I heard deflecting today. I heard a guy who had his shield up, knew full well what the situation was, even after a win, knew full well what the situation was. And I didn't like what I heard today from Mark Bergevin. You mean at you, all. you felt like he knew the vultures were swirling, oh, yeah. and instead of saying. Like he has in the past, this is all on me. January of this year, he said that. It's all Sorry? on me. January of this year. Oh, after the trade. No, no. Yeah, no, no. After uh, the firing. No, before the fire. Before the firing. January, he, he talked to the media and said, no, this is Do you have this evidence of this? I believe we have evidence of this, guys. Do we have evidence of this? All right, let me hear it. I felt that it was important today to meet with you people. I think uh, our fans have questions, and uh, throughout this period, it's been very hard for all of us. Um, I think it's important that I'm here as the general manager, and I'm in charge of all hockey operation, and all the critique uh, should be directed at me. I'm the guy that provides the players. I'm the guy that put this team together, and it's on me and me only. Hmm. Okay, first off, what did he mean by you people? Right. Me and me only. And then. Fired his coach a month later. Yeah, and then <laughs> yesterday it was the answers are in the room. Yeah, this, uh, today was the answers are in the room. Right. And I just, I'm hearing a lot of, to quote John today, Shannon, excuse, excuse I'm hearing today. a lot of sucking and blowing at the same time here from the GM of the Montreal Canadiens. Is that quoting John that Shannon? That sounds, he said, I swear to God, he said it on air. Oh. It's disgust, this disgusting quote. I would never repeat it. No, a lot of people say sucking and blowing. It's, come on, kids are watching. Relax. <laughs> but the point, I just don't I mean, like what I heard today. I, I mean, You know what I love? I screwed up. Mm -hmm. I messed up. I swung for the fences. I think it, it means something did, different. Than it what didn't you work. I mm -hmm. sucked and I blowed, <laughs> and it didn't work. Right. All right? Eh, okay. I didn't hear that today. I heard, oh, the will no, we'll figure it out. That's what I heard today. Well, because really? He, because he really? Made, no, because he made moves in the offseason oh. that haven't worked. He let Radulov walk. He's got $8 million in his pocket. I'm not so sure you should have paid Radulov, but he brought in Drouin. They were going to play him in the middle. Sergeyev's got like nine out. points right. in Tampa. Right. So he's got to say now that it's all in the room. And that's a departure for him because, as you pointed out in January, when the bleep storm came, yeah. he said, look at me because he was way more comfortable in January yeah. with his spot. Now, with the vultures swirling, he says, it's in the room.